So, uh, what's new, Yark? I hear you're letting go of your uh, Nikon D810. Is that right? That is correct. Uh, last night I took my D810 with all my lenses. That's 14, 24, 2.8, 24, 70, 2.8, 7200, 2.8, uh, 85, 1.4, and two Sigma lenses, uh, 35, 1.4 art, and 51.4 art. How much and are you selling those for? Well, I'm in Vietnam right now, uh, and I, the price I'm asking is 190 million dong, which comes to about eight and a half, around nine thousand dollars American. That's a small fortune, isn't it? Uh, a small fortune, but it's a decent loss on what I paid for the equipment. Uh, the equipment's in really good shape, you know. The, the D810 has about 17 or 18 thousand, you know. Uh, shatter hits on it uh -huh. which isn't really that much yeah um, i did sell the d4s that i had before you know a couple months ago uh, i sold it just to pick up the uh, fuji xt2 with a couple of lenses right i'm loving the xt2 a lot uh, but uh, you were telling me the other day you're you're actually looking at sony now right yes so the a6500 right no the uh, sony a7r2 Oh, full frame. Full frame, yes. Uh, so the the XT2 is a crop sensor. It's great. The auto focus on it is amazing. Uh -huh. The focus accuracy is amazing. Uh, and I should mention why I'm leaving Nikon. Uh, it was primarily because of focus shift. Uh, okay. I was running into focus shift when shooting wide open. Uh, right. I had the gear a number of times at Nikon. In Canada, I had it at Nikon Vietnam, I had it at Nikon Thailand, and everything according to them is within spec. I, I'm able to replicate the issue I'm having on tripod and a you know, controlled environment where you can easily sh see the focus shift. Uh -huh. uh, it, it happens on certain lenses. It's just technical. There's technical, re technical reason for it. You were telling me it had something to do with uh, the lens stays wide open when you're focusing or something? Yeah, it has to be. So basically, I, I believe the, the actual lenses focus wide open. And then when it stops down to, you know, F4 or whatever, there can be a difference. In and the it does that. Uh, it does that so that the uh, focus is faster. It opens, it, sta it focuses uh, wide open. Based on my open. understanding, yes. It, it focuses wide open so that there's more light. The more light there is, the easier it is for it to get focus. And then when it uh, closes down? When it closes down, it can lead to focus shift. Now, certain lenses, they're more prone to it than others. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, primes, you won't notice it as much unless you have the 85 1.4 which has it fairly visible mm -hmm. uh, and I mean you can fine-tune the lenses which is what I've done but I'm finding that even though I fine-tune it for you know what I'm shooting at mostly it works great but then the minute I'm trying to shoot a subject farther away or I'm trying to adjust my f-stop to something different that I fine-tuned it to you know it can lead back to front and back focus uh, now a lot of people are saying uh, they're expecting to hear uh, Sony announce uh an update for their A7R2. What do you think? Would it be better to wait till next year? Well, I'm not in a rush to buy it. You know, I decided to sell it right now just because uh, I was actually doing a maternity shoot a couple days ago for mm -hmm. a friend of mine. Yeah, those pictures uh, were beautiful. And I had the D810 with me with my uh, Sigma and uh, Sigma 35 1.4. And my 2470. Okay. Uh, and I had the you know the, the Fuji XC2 with the 23 2.0. Right. Uh, the focus on the you know on the on the on the Fuji was just right on every single time. Mm -hmm. uh, I also prefer the fact that I can actually see you know in the viewfinder exactly what I'm getting. Uh, you know, so the accuracy was there. I just enjoy shooting it so much more. Uh, you know, I reviewed the photos back at home because I did take a number of them on the D810. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would say, you know, 80% of them were in focus. Okay. Comparing to the Fuji, you know, 99% of the Fuji shots were in focus. Big uh, difference, huh? Big difference, big difference. Uh, you know, now with that said, I mean, the D810 is a great camera. You know, the dynamic range on it is amazing. Uh, you know, the resolution kicks us. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was doing a commercial shoot where I need the resolution, you know, and, and, I, and if I had the Nikon stuff, 
I'd probably just shoot tethered to my laptop to make sure that I'm getting the focus that I want mm -hmm. uh, and, and I could get the shots. Uh, now, with that said, that's not something you're going to be doing in any location, you, in every location you, you, you know, you're shooting. You don't uh, have, always have a second chance, right? No, exactly. Like I shoot a lot of, you know, remote areas, markets and villages, <laughs> and I'm not going to be getting my laptop hooked up to take a candid shot of someone in the market. It's just not gonna happen. You usually take your laptop along when you go to the villages, like in the north of Vietnam? Well, when I go, I usually go for, you know, a couple months. My okay. trip coming up is gonna be three months long, so I do have to bring my laptop with me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just to copy the files, and I bring my external drive to keep a, se to keep a separate backup. Sure. Just in case. Yeah, things good do idea, break. yeah. Uh, it also lets you review the images and, you know, do your start on the post-processing and everything else, geotagging and whatnot. Uh, you did mention the Sony, so why why am I looking at the Sony? Uh, I don't like how the Sony looks, and, and I don't like how it feels in my hands. Uh, you know, I, I prefer the controls on the XT2. However, the Sony does have a much higher resolution, and it is a full frame camera. And even though I don't need it for you know majority of my my work, mm -hmm. some of it I would like to shoot on a full frame sensor. And with higher resolution, and you get uh, a little better uh, bokeh. Yes, you do. You know, so if you if you pick up the right lenses. Yeah. And, and the thing with the lenses is, Sony lenses are not cheap. So yeah. Especially those G Masters. Exactly. So you know, so I was looking at you know at the 2470, the 7200 2.8, both uh -huh. of them. And you know, then you have the Batis 1.8, or you have the Sony lens that came out right now. That's a 1.4 85 which looks really really nice mm -hmm. uh, it is more expensive than the Batis lens uh, and talking about the Batis 1.8 there's also a Sony lens right now that's also 1.8 uh, that's actually much cheaper than you know than, than the Batis lens and they're saying that it's as good as it now I haven't shot with it nor, nor have I actually you know touched it so I can't comment on that uh, but if I was buying a lens I I usually believe in buying the best you can buy, so yeah. it would be the 1.4. Uh, so, if I can sell my Nikon gear in time before my next trip, mm -hmm. then uh, then I'll probably get the A7R2. 